I am from Mr. to Organico. You're the journeyman. That's 25 years or 25 years from a from here. You know? I, I can't help you with this if I didn't, I didn't introduce I mentioned my good friend, uh, a, a business partner. We've done stuff together. Jean Rockman. She's wow. out right here. Part of it. <laughs> You know, it's funny because I, I was in, I, we were in, I was in Ecuador, Saturday, Sunday, with my wife, Ileani, here, here. And, and, uh, I was in Ecuador, and the first thing, and talking about the coffee, too, right here in Ecuador, <laughs> but the first thing that happened was that one, someone who was a part of a conference came up to me and told me, the first thing she said in, in Spanish, that her mother hated me. <laughs> mother hated me, and that would have hated me from the color purple. <laughs> <laughs> she got a mind on the phone, she tried to get a beauty slave. Beyond that, he's a good person. <laughs> That's another thing. One of the things I tried to do, and because I, I come through what I do in, in a circuitous way. I didn't, at 20, at 18, at 15 years, I never dreamed of being an actor. I did like everybody else did, went to school, got my degree in economics, finished school, then worked for the worked for the city and county of San Francisco, doing evaluated research, worked in community service, community, community action programs. And so I always got a feel of people and being around people and watching people engage and change their lives and reflect on what they were doing and use what I what I call what I call grassroots economics, grassroots democracy in there. And I was on the verge of that in the early 70s, 71, 72, involved in all of that as a young man. And it had an enormous impact on me because I saw what people could do with their own energy, with their own compassion, with their own passion, and what they could do. I saw that firsthand. So when I come to a room like this right here, and I see people excited about what they do and excited about their own transformation, it reminds me. And then back then from four, almost 40 years ago, when I was a young person working in the city of San Francisco, and people believing that they can be, as I the term I use, the architect of their own rescue. Mm. They can be the people who change their lives. They have transformed their lives, and in transforming their lives, build new relationships. All the basic, I think history is based on relationship and transformation and relationship. Build new relationships and new relationship with themselves and a new relationship collectively with their community and extend it, and, and extend it beyond that. That's what I believe that possibility is. So when I'm going here, here right here, in Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, my mama's from Georgia, and I'm going from, from Atlanta, Georgia, to Tallahassee, Florida, we'll be in Tallahassee on uh, Thursday, and, right. and we'll be in Thomasville, Georgia, uh, Friday, I mean Thursday as well. When I'm going there, seeing people from Tyler, Texas, seeing people in Oakland, California, See people believe in something. See people my age, people who are young. I've had people come to me, a young guy who was 19 years old, and came to me. So when I see that happening, something important is happening. And I want to be passionate about that. So I'm here because I'm with you. I'm here not simply as someone that's able to say going to lend a name to it, it's going to be a spokesperson and stand up there and take a few pictures and everything else and try to advertise it. I'm here talking to people, getting them interested. And I got this, I got this, I got this on my set. And, and you, and when you're working 12 to 16 hours a day like I do when I'm shooting a movie, a movie everybody, all the people did, did was rave about the black coffee, mm. rave about the, the, uh, the latte, rave about the green tea, and talked about how it got finished up. Let me tell you, it got me through a very arduous and a very difficult film and shooting physically physical because I was doing I was drinking uh, yeah, I was drinking that lot of but I don't drink coffee. My, my wife is a coffee drinker, but I don't drink coffee. I was drinking that latte sometimes if on the hour I was not on the hour but every eight hours when I was working. I believe in this. I believe in this and this is evidence that other people believe in this. You come out here because you want answers. And those answers are gonna start with you. The answers are not going to start with somebody giving you something because all of you here have taken your lives and been, and been in your lives and engaged in your life in every single thing from going to work, from raising children, from doing all the things, from getting the education. All of you have done that. All of you have done that. This is another opportunity that's brought to you. I just happen to be 
to extraordinary visionary men in hopes and bugs and their good hands. And I see that right here that they believe at this moment that among this audience there's some other extraordinary men and women who are ready to take this jump, to take this lead, and to be find themselves something, and to really become the architects of their own rescue. Yes. Let me give it back to you, baby. <laughs> We literally hit the road. Y'all understand, this is a mission for us. I, I, hope, I hope y'all don't think we're here for a hype session. I'm not here to try to prove you anything. It's already proven. The plan is laid out. Things are happening. Lives have already been changed. It's a matter of whether you want to participate in it or watch it. The thing about it is this. Some people are just spectators in life. You can't change that. They like to see other people win. And they cheer for other people. When is it going to be a time for you to cheer for your success? Right. Y'all understand what I mean when I say that? You know, and it's going to require some work. I'm, uh, the thing about it is, work, work. Y'all do understand that, right? Work, work. And so it's going to require a little work, but it won't take. It don't take forever to do what we're doing right here because it's a no-brainer, really, uh, uh, from what, what I'm going to show you. But let me get you caught up real quick as to why Dan is so excited, why Ed is so excited. So many of these other leaders that are in the room is because what we put together over the past two and a half years. It's kind of revolutionizing the industry of direct sales. Or I, I even say network marketing, something I said I would stay away from. I thought network marketing, people go to jail. How many of y'all heard of these things called fear? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I told I am not getting involved, going to nobody's jail. I really thought network marketing would fear me many years ago. I was, it was ignorance on my part. And it was because I didn't understand. I never got around people who had the success. And this is the biggest thing I had to find. A lot of times we listen to people who always have the problem. 